Hey everyone, it's Bridget here from Bridget's Healthy Kitchen, wishing you a wonderful day. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're well and I hope you are safe. Thank you for joining me this morning. Actually, it's the afternoon. It's just ticked over lunchtime here in Sydney. So thank you for joining me in the kitchen. We are cooking today a five minute apple cake, apple pie, whatever you want to call it. But it takes five minutes to make and it's utterly delicious and absolutely healthy of course gluten free sugar free and dairy free and it only takes five minutes so it's one of those recipes like if you're really feeling like ooh, i could just do with a little treat all to myself this is the recipe for you now that recipe by the way is part of uh my award-winning cookbook which we are gifting away copies of today so if you are watching which you are and you're watching live all you have to do is answer the question and the question today is what is your favorite Bridget's Healthy Kitchen go to healthy treat so something that you love your favorite favorite all-time favorite healthy treat recipe that I have created that you absolutely love let us know what your favorite one is and you will then Mahe is going to pick today before we go off air Mahe will pick one lucky winner who gets the opportunity to gift this book to someone that they love, someone they care about. So what we will do is we'll get your um, person you'd love to gift this to, we'll get their name, we'll get their address, and we will, oh, obviously I will write it, I will dedicate the book to them on your behalf, and then put some wrapping paper around it, pop it in the post, and send it off to them. So we are gifting away, because this one, we're going to gift away this great book because it won that amazing World Gourmet Cookbook Award just last week, which is amazing uh, for the book, but it's also amazing for us as well because what it means is that we, I mean, we all know how well this book works. The recipes in here are fantastic, and now the rest of the world is starting to learn that as well. So it's very exciting, hence why we're gifting it away. But the recipe we're doing today is from page 233 of the book, and that's what it looks like. I mean, can you believe that that will only take you five minutes to make. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? When you think you can literally get your own very special all to yourself dessert, healthy treat in five minutes. So that's what we're cooking today. I'm gonna to start off by um, actually starting off with a topping because, oh, I'll show you one more time, the photo one more time. As you can see, the top of that lovely little cake there has got something that looks pretty delicious and amazing. Now it is an apple apple pie mug cake I call it but you can call it an apple cake or whatever you want um, and the reason I call it apple pie is because it's got all those wonderful spices that you would tend to find in either like an apple crumble an apple crisp or an apple pie so it's those wonderful spices and then of course we cook it very quickly in the microwave now by the way if you're not a microwave person you can actually make this recipe in little muffin cases so it does work you can pop it in the oven 180 degrees it'll probably take about 10 to 15 maybe 15 minutes to cook in the oven in little muffin cases. But if you've got a microwave, it's gonna take you less than five minutes. So come on down to my bench. I would love to show you guys um, the topping for that cake first. So we are dealing, of course, with apples being an apple pie mug cake. And the type of apples that I'm using, um, which I tend to use a lot of, is the green apple. Now the reason why I use a green apple as opposed to say a red or a, a sweet apple, sweeter apple is pretty much that is that sweet apples tend to have higher concentrations of sugar or in fruit it's known as fructose and even though I'm not saying don't eat fruit I'm saying that we need to be very mindful of how much fruit we consume and you know it's, it's better for us if we're consuming fruit that have a lower fructose because even though it's natural because that is completely natural as you know um, even though it's natural Fructose will still spike our insulin. Fructose will still raise our blood glucose as well. And when our insulin is high and when our blood glucose is high, it makes it very difficult for our body to use fat, the fat we have stored around our body as fuel. So that's why I always tend to head for the green apples. They have lower, they're, you know, they're nice and tart. And if you think about it, when a fruit is tart so, or sour, it tends to have lower levels of sugar. If you're looking at what are very, I suppose, sweet fruits, a lot of the tropical fruits are quite high in fructose. So things like mangoes and pineapples, especially if they're extremely sweet. Um, things like bananas as well should be eaten, um, you know, 
not, not consumed as much as you would consume something like an apple or fresh berries. They tend to be pretty good. So go for a green apple because we want the lovely tart apple for a start. Remember, this is a topping. So I've got my little pan here. I'm just going to turn it on about medium and pop these things into the pan. Just straight like that. Nothing. I'm going to put any water in there. I have to put any oil in there. They're going straight in. And then just to give these guys, remember these apple pie spices that we're using. Today I'm using cinnamon. This is ginger. And I've also got a wonderful mixed spice, which is a combination of, of spices you could use in the States. You could use like maybe a pumpkin spice would work really nice here as well. And then just sprinkle a little bit on. Not too much. Just a little pinch of each. Goes on to the apples. And this is going to help, but literally it is a pinch each. You saw how small my apple was, so I'm going to have enough topping to make a couple of these apple pie mug cakes, by the way. And this one does go a long way. And the other thing I'm going to put in there, just for a little bit of sweetness, and also to help with the browning, is I have my inulin here. So I'm just going to be putting in here a teaspoon of inulin powder goes in as well. Give that a little bit of a stir around. And just on that medium heat, I'm just going to allow those apples to kind of do their thing. Medium heat, medium heat, there we go. Do their thing for about five minutes. They're just going to start to colour up. They're going to begin to cook through. Oh my goodness, I can already smell those spices. Oh, they're wonderful. They are oh, what this, whatever this is that, this happening right now, I wish you guys could smell it. It is so good. It is amazing. Right, let's leave that to do its thing. I have to avoid temptation which is to pick an apple out of the pan because it smells so good now let's actually make the um make the cake itself so we are going to be using about half an apple per cake so um you know if your apple is my apple is quite small so i'm probably going to use three quarters but just you know half a small apple is pretty a pretty genuine uh, a pretty generous amount of apple that we're going to go in there a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Looking pretty good. Five minutes, that's all that needs. So the first thing you want to do, pick your green apple. Give it a bit of a peel, of course. And what we're going to be doing with this apple is um, rather than cutting it up, I'm actually going to grate it. Because uh, upon grating it, the apple is going to more effectively get mixed through the cake mixture, which is what we want. You know, we want as much apple through our apple cake as possible. So give it a bit of a break. And I said, I use about three quarters of that small apple for one mug cake. Now, because it's a mug cake, we can work directly into our mug. So let's put all that apple in there. It goes in like that. And we are also going to be placing into it, bit of a stir, bit of a stir. That's looking pretty good. We're also going to be placing into it our spices. And once again, it is a pinch each. A pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of ginger goes in there as well. Gosh, I love ginger so much. And like these spices, yes, they remind me of apple crumble and apple pie. But they also remind me of Christmas. I just love them. All right, and the last one there was that mixed spice. So we've got our three spices in there. We are also going to be adding in our gluten-free flour, which I am using almond flour or almond meal. Um, you could also use another type of nut flour of your choosing or even a seed flour if you want to go nut-free. You could use sunflower seed flour. You could use um, walnut flour. Completely up to you. So we're adding into here three tablespoons of almond flour or almond meal goes in. Let's also think about some inulin and then we're putting in a tablespoon of inulin powder it goes in there as well and we are adding in an egg look everything goes straight into the mug all goes into the mug so egg goes in there let's add a little bit of baking powder as well and for the baking powder we want about half a teaspoon of baking powder goes in there a bit of vanilla, if you like, as well, can go in there. Like half a teaspoon of vanilla extract can go in as well. And that's it. That's all the ingredients done. So I'm actually going to use this spoon to mix it because it's got all those lovely spices on it. You don't even need to put this in, in, a, in a food processor. Everything can happen 
directly into the mug, which is very exciting. Give it a good stir, something along those lines. <laughs> it's pretty haphazard, it really is. It's pretty haphazard. So once you've done that, all you need to do is pop on over to your microwave, which I'm going to do off camera. And two minutes later, two minutes later, well in two minutes time, we're going to have our cake ready. But because we have now two minutes to wait, we're actually going to announce our winner. Our last winner, Mahe is just going through the answers now. The last winner of our gift away for the week. So this is what we're gifting away. Remember a copy of Eat Your Way Slim and Healthy to your nominated person. So Mahe, do you have a winner? Emma Walker Koo from the, Newcastle. The winner is Emma Walker Koo. Koo. from Newcastle to our oh, uh, there you go. Newcastle. Emma Walker Koo. How do you spell Koo. that spell that last name for me? Walker Koo. Walker Koo. Emma Walker Coon from Newcastle, you are the winner. And what was Emma's answer, please, Mahi? My favorite, my very favorite, is Super Rocky Road Highway. I've been mean, so many times to think it's worth to share with the team team volunteers. Everyone loves it, and it's one great in small pieces. No one feels bad. I don't know if everyone can hear you. <laughs> I hope you guys heard that. It was such a great answer. Um, Emma, Emma's favorite healthy treat of mine is the Super. Rocky Road. Now Super Rocky Road is basically melted dark chocolate with lots of gorgeous ingredients in it and it is so incredibly easy to make because you literally melt chocolate and then you add things like nuts and goji berries and seeds and all sorts of wonderfully healthy ingredients to your Rocky Road. You set it, you forget it and then you come back when it's nice and hard and you break it up into chunks. Now that is Emma's favorite and because Emma, you had such a wonderful answer about sharing that with your canteen mates, you are the winner today of our final gift away for the week um, of Eat Your Way Slim and Healthy. Now, don't forget, if you if you um, were not the winner today or this week, you can still pick up copies of this book if you are in New Zealand. It is available at Whitcalls in the warehouse. Give me a second. I'm going to go get a beep beep from the microwave. If you are in Australia, you can purchase the book from Target, Kmart, Big W sell it, or you can get it online via Booktopia. If you're in the UK, Amazon.co.uk sells it, or if you're through Europe. And if you're outside of those countries, like you're in the States, you can get it through um, Book Depository, sells it online. So, we're ready. Two minutes don't take long, right? Fabulous. Got my little plate here, come on back down. Oh, and congratulations, Emma. Just send us an email, my dear. Please, admin at bridgetshealthykitchen.com and we will get that prize sent out to your lucky recipient. So you can see, after two minutes, it's looking pretty fab. Will it come out? I may have used the wrong cup. <laughs> I'm thinking about the logistics now of actually getting this out of this mug. We shall see. It does. <laughs> we only had mug cake on the floor. Oh, it's really cute. What a cute little, and depending on the type of mug you use, you're going to get a really, really cute little cake. So firstly, look, it's lovely and spongy, but it's very dense at the same time. So you really do feel like you are treating yourself when you have this. So how I like to serve up this particular dish is I like definitely, definitely, definitely to add a bit of coconut yogurt. So let's do that to start. So I've got a bit of unsweetened coconut yogurt here, which I'm gonna plop on top. And yes, it is great to eat this when it's warm, but of course you can let this cool down and it will last like in your fridge. If you keep it in an airtight container, it'll last for a couple of days. So it's got great lasting potential. Over to our little apples. Let's now stick those on top. So if you've got half an apple in there right now, you could literally stick another half of that small apple on top. And so you're eating your apple, your lovely bit of fruit there, with all these other wonderful ingredients that we have happening. Okay, do I have a, no I don't, paper towel. So I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. I sometimes, it sometimes happens when I think, this is very close to being ready to serve. We only have to do one more thing to it. And that is, I'm gonna use my little, I like to use my little 
teacup, a tea strainer to ice over the top with that little bit of inulin goes over top there. And look what we have created and it's taken, well, not even five minutes really when you think about it. We have created this wonderful little, you know, it's your own too by the way. This is your personal little apple pie mug cake. Your own personal little cake, Ooh, everything's falling off. Your own personal little cake that you now get to enjoy and not have to feel guilty about, which is so fabulous. So I hope you have enjoyed today's little uh, episode in the kitchen. We are coming at you next week as well. We've got three more cooking classes all next week. Now next week we're going to be focusing on what I am calling build a salad week. So I'm going to be teaching you guys some really delicious ways that you can build a salad. Because I know salad can sometimes get a little bit boring. Let's be honest. It can get a little bit boring. It can get a little bit tedious. So I am hoping that next week we can enjoy three really, really yummy salads that you can then build upon as we move forward. So there's some really good ideas on how you can have some basic staples in your kitchen that can help you to build upon salads. Now, or next week as well, we're actually going to be away from the kitchen. I'll be in a new kitchen next week. I look forward to sharing that beautiful kitchen with you guys as well. So until then, um, congratulations, Emma. Make sure you send us that email, admin at bridgetshealthykitchen.com so we can organize these prizes to be sent out to you. And to everyone else, thank you for joining me today. I look forward to spending more time with you next week in the kitchen where we'll be doing Build a Salad Week. All right, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you make the cake. <laughs> it's so worth it. Take care, guys. Bye.